guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you my april favorite so i have quite a few favorites i have one disappointment and then i'll share some of my music favorites and also a tv show favorite so if you're interested in that then let's get started Okay, so first and my absolute favorite of this month is this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in 10 Be My Highlight. It's what I have on right now, guys. This is under $5. It is stunning. It, sorry. This highlighter is absolutely gorgeous. It almost looks wet on your skin. It's like a champagne shade. It's super, super pretty. There it is right there, and it's under $5. I cannot believe it. It doesn't make me look gray. It doesn't emphasize any of my texture. So I also would recommend this for people. My hair looks terrible like that. I also would recommend this for people that have mature skin because highlighters can emphasize your fine lines, your wrinkles, and your texture. And I don't think that this is going to do that on mature skin. So I will have it linked down below where you can find it. I got mine at Ulta, and it's like $4.99. The next thing I want to talk about is what is on my lips, and it is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in Midnight Cowgirl. I saw um, a couple of videos of people doing like swatches and stuff, so I went into the store and I got this one. I'm wearing it right now. It, first of all, smells like mint, tastes like mint. Uh, it's not sticky or gloopy, and it actually lasts a really, really long time. So you can put this on, and I say you can get about five hours out of it and it does wear off well like you it doesn't just like leave a rim around your mouth that looks terrible so again this is the urban decay hi-fi shine in midnight cowgirl and i'll show you this is what the doe foot applicator looks like it's a flat doe foot and it's really really awesome and i think it's such a beautiful flattering color the next thing I have is what I have on my face today. It is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. Mine is in number 23. I could have gone a shade lighter, but I know summer's right around the corner and I'm going to start getting more tan. So I just went ahead and got this one. I ordered it off of Amazon. Um, I'm super into BB creams lately and um, you get 50 mils in here. Um, it says Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream offers a novel skincare concept with BB Cream, which lightens skin tone by healing visible wrinkles and blemishes with excellent skin cover ability and prevents skin aging through effective whitening and anti-wrinkle properties. I don't know about all that, but what I do know is it covers up all my redness. It evens out my skin tone. It makes it look light and bright, and I love it for that. And I just apply this with my fingers. Um... I'll show you what it looks like. It looks a little bit gray. And then I just blend it in with my fingers. And then it does just sink into my skin and kind of morph into my skin tone, which is weird. But um, like I said, I could have gotten a shade lighter, but I know I'm about to get more tan. So I wanted to be able to wear it for the summertime. Oh, and it does have SPF 42. So you could wear this to the pool. You could wear this to Six Flags. We're going to Six Flags tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna wear this there and just set my face really really good because BB creams since they are a little bit thicker do tend to get greasy and oily faster so I'll probably uh, set my entire face with some translucent powder really really heavily so it doesn't look awful. The next thing I want to talk about is my new favorite powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish skin perfecting micro powder this is what it looks like right here mine is in two medium and it's 0.28 ounces so it's pretty standard for a powder and first of all the packaging is absolutely gorgeous mine has fingerprints all over it but the packaging is gorgeous this shade this zero to medium is perfect for me i was gonna get the light one but i felt like it would be too light and then it wouldn't add much coverage or it would just look like i was adding powder and coverage but no color to my skin so i'm really glad that i got the two medium so if you're a similar skin tone to me then if you're interested in this i think um the two is a really good shade it is very expensive though so i wish they had a mini size like they do of these hourglass blushes that you can just try them out instead of buying you know the full really expensive product 
but unfortunately they don't. So I highly, highly recommend this powder if you have mature skin. This really blurs out your pores. It really blurs out your fine lines, your texture, all of that. It's a really a full coverage powder if you if you build it up um, if you want to just do a light dusting to kind of make you look airbrushed you absolutely can do that after you put your foundation on so if you have mature skin and you feel like you have wrinkles and fine lines to cover up check this out next thing i want to mention is this hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in diffu diffused bronze light i ordered the small one just so i could try it out because they are very expensive this one i think is 20 dollars or 22 dollars something like that this is so so good i'm wearing it today um it's awesome it doesn't look muddy on me i can build it up nicely i can just really blend it i can really pack on the color and then blend it out very very easy so if you do have a tendency to go heavy handed with your bronzer this blends out super super easy i'll do a swatch for you so you can see they have different shades of this see as you can see it's not really dark it's not warm at all so um it's really you can use this as a contour as well if you're a little bit deeper than me this works great as a bronzer for me and this one again is in diffused bronze light and they have different shades for different skin tones so i highly recommend checking these out and the last product i want to recommend is a dry shampoo i wash my hair I try to get four to five days out of it. Sometimes it's just where I have to wash it and have to blow dry it um, after two or three days. But this right here is my saving grace and it's affordable. I really, really love the Living Proof dry shampoo, but it's just too expensive for me to buy all the time since I do use dry shampoo almost every single day. So this is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh dry shampoo in the clean and light bear this one does not leave a white cast in your hair it smells really really good it smells light i can't stand when they have such a strong scent like a cherry scent and then your hair smells like cherries fake cherries all day so i really really like this one again it's clean and light bear so i feel like it's a little bit more lightweight than their original one it's not as strong but if you want like i used it today and there's no white cast. It doesn't feel like baby powder is all in your hair. I absolutely love this. And this is a huge bottle. This is 6.73 fluid ounces. I will leave this link down below for probably Ulta. Um, just because of their point system is awesome. So, uh, yeah. One disappointment. It is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation. So many people love this. This is $10 at the drugstore. I was so, so excited to try this. Uh, mine is in GLM 672 Bisque and it says matte liquid foundation. You get one fluid ounce for $10. You guys, after, it looks great. Initially, you put it on, you get done with your makeup, you're like, oh my god, this is $10 and it looks like a high-end foundation. Four hours later, I could touch my face and my entire face makeup would come off. It highly transferred. It just slipped and sl sl slipped and slotted, slipped and yeah, slipped and slotted all over my face uh, after about four hours. And I don't know about y'all how long you have to wear your makeup. But if I'm putting makeup on, I have to wear it 6, 8, 10, 12 hours. So I don't have anywhere really that I can wear this for it to only look good for four hours. Um, so unfortunately, this is a miss for me. Um, so many people love it though. It does have a pump. And I think it comes in a pretty good shade range. I'll leave it linked down below so you can check it out if you are interested. Now, if you have dry skin and you like a matte finish, this might be great for you. But for me and my oily skin, it was a mess. Wrap up the video, I have some music favorites. So first of all, I want another favorite is this iPhone 8 Plus. I went from the iPhone 7 to the iPhone 8 Plus and I love the big screen. I really, really do. And I'm also really excited to have portrait mode on my phone. Um, I, those portrait mode pictures, they look like professional pictures. So I'm really, really excited about that. Okay, the first song that is my favorite is Tell Me You Love Me by Galantis and Throttle. I don't know where my phone case is from. How cool is this? It's iridescent. It's from Casemate. I'll link it down below. Um, I ordered it on Amazon, so I'll link it for Amazon, but I absolutely love it. My phone is silver, and it looks like blue and pink in different lighting. It's awesome. Pushing Up Daisies by Brothers Osborne. You guys, this love song. It's kind of a different take on a love song, but it's so good. <laughs> Up 
that I already know that is one of my favorites is Candy Paint. And I think I mentioned this last month, but it was a single of his and now it's on their album. Um, Candy Paint by Post Malone. So good. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your favorites are for the month and maybe I can check them out or do a video on them. Leave me any video recommendations down below and I will see you guys for another video. Bye guys.